All right, guys, I uh, got my rear disc conversion kit. Uh, I'm a big ass drum. Uh, rear disc brakes. These are off the, the rear brakes, or sorry, the front brakes off of uh, 1980 to 86 uh, K20. Um, I had to drill a hole through the spring perch there. Uh, here's my traction bars. Got new shocks on here. God damn it. Um, I got the diff torn apart. Uh, ready to bolt the tire back on. Let's head on over to this side real quick. Uh, this side I haven't started on yet. You can kind of see what uh, the shock was completely blown out. Hey, you can see my diff there. Um, yeah, just all kinds of shit going on. So, uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty much what I got going on. Um, rear disc conversion. Here's my big ass drums. That looks like. At first, I was thinking that was like a chip, but no, that's that's like ground for weight. But uh, it's not a small drum. Uh, I don't know. I got. I got pretty good sized hands. I can easily uh, palm a basketball. I think they're 13 inch drums, something like that. Um, big fucking brakes. Um, for the rear disc conversion kit, the rotor goes on the inside. See, so they give you new wheel studs. Um, you gotta un unbolt this backing plate, and all the shit comes off. Um, Got to hammer in new studs or press in new studs. Um, yeah, a new wheel seal, new axle seals. Uh, let me just slide this shaft on out of here. That makes it a little bit easier to get in. But um, yeah, you got to take this off. Get the the uh, got new U bolts for it. And yeah, just. Uh, Whole bunch of shit to change out so anyway i uh, got her in here and starting to work on her all right got a shock on uh and brackets uh torque whatever <sighs> new shock uh traction bar and Got the wheel studs replaced. You have to, okay, the the rotor goes on the inside, and then you have to drive the studs through, through the axle. So you have to beat the old studs out and put the new, put the rotor on and beat the studs through the rotor. And then the, the axle shaft to slide in here. If you've never seen an axle shaft slide in, let's see if I can do this with one hand. Hang on. Right. She slid all the way in. You see this bracket, the caliper brackets right there. Um, remember these these rotors come with a, an anti grease coating on them, or an anti rust coating on them. So you need to spray them off before you uh, you put the caliper on. Uh, also, I like to coat these with uh, anti seize, just because I use a lot of. Uh, um, I use, I got iron wheels and stuff. I don't want them to fucking rust. Uh, I'm going to crawl down underneath and show you guys the, uh, the C-clip. All right, guys, this is the C-clip. I don't know why, where, where it gets its name. But you see a little groove? Hang on. Right in the very center of the screen. That's the end of the axle. See that little notch in the end of the axle? It fits. It fits right in that notch. And then... God damn it. It fits in that notch and then the axle slides back out. And that's what then it holds it in place. So uh I can't really do that with I don't have my tripod with me. So uh yep, well I'll get get on that in a minute. Oh I, I got a locker. Uh turns out this has a fucking a G80, it's a gov lock. So I think I'm gonna try to fuck with this gov lock instead of putting 
the locker I got is for open differentials only. And I didn't realize this fucker had a gov lock. It, it doesn't, it didn't come with one from the factory. So I should have pulled the fucking diff cover off before I ordered the cocksucker, but, but I didn't. So here I am. So anyway, I'm going to put the C clip back in real quick and then, uh, bolt the, uh, bolt the diff cover back on, clean, clean some shit up and bolt it back on. I got some 75 W90 shit to put back in here. Uh, then I can put the brakes back on. Or back, I say back on. I can put them on for the first time. Uh, the the uh, the U bolts I got were long, so don't worry about that. I'll cut those off. Um, anyway, I might try try to modify this G80. Um, like I said, it, I looked in the glove box. It did not come with this. Uh, could not come with one, so, I mean, somebody swapped one out at some point, so, anyway, uh, I'm gonna pop this C-clip C -clip in and, uh, give her hell. Alright, got the, uh, the cross pin back in, and the little bolt in it that holds it on, that's a 10 millimeter bolt, uh, yeah, this pin just slides in, and that holds the sli spider gears in place. Right, hold on, I'm trying to spin this out a bit for you. If you look, I'm spinning forward. I'm spinning this tire forward. That's, that's technically a gov lock. Oh, shit. Uh, trying to spin it backwards. Anyway. Fuck. Uh, I should have fucking posi. Maybe I'm just uh, accelerating too fast with it. Which I can, I've got an idea on how to modify it. So, anyway. We'll get to that later. Well, boys, just put the diff cover on, filled it full of uh, 75W90 Mobile One. Uh, my parts, uh, parts pile is getting uh, awful small. <coughs> so, uh, we're going to degrease or take the, the, the rust prevention coating off the surface of the rotor bolt on the caliper or you know put the pad on put the caliper and shit on lube up all your points and stuff but you'll I bought a clip for it um yeah and then uh i'll put the tire back on so hang on just a second all right guys got uh brake hose hooked up if i can uh the last thing to go on is the tire uh i did yeah, that was a little rough on her. Oh, shit. Ew. That was a little rough on this tire. Um. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yeah. On Christmas on Christmas Day, I was a little rough on this tire. Today's the 30th. So we'll throw this bitch on for right now and give her hell.